The Indian Air Force must get the Tejas Mark 1A5 jets all time to face the threat of a two-front war from China and Pakistan. The Indian Defence Ministry has issued a stark reminder or an ultimatum to manufacturer Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Details are emerging from a key review meeting held this month on the 16th of May, where the MOD demanded HL to deliver 18 Tejas Mark 1A jets to the Indian Air Force by March 2025 as per the original agreement. The IAF will receive the first of the Mark 1As in July, but the initial delivery was slated for February or March this year. So this raises questions of HAL's ability to meet timelines of such a huge order of 200 jets from the Air Force. It also begs the question whether the HAL would be able to meet any export orders if and when they arrive. So what has been the reason for this delay and what steps has the HAL taken to boost productivity and does the HAL need any additional aid from the Indian government? The integration trials of the first Tejas MK1A are currently being done after its first flight was conducted in Bengaluru in March. Three years after the deal was signed in 2021, costing a whopping 48,000 crores or $6.8 billion. So how has the Bangalore-based organization in which the Defence Ministry holds a share failed to deliver even a single jet? from the first tranche of 83 Tejas Mark 1As ordered in 2021. The delivery has been reportedly extended due to pending certifications for certain crucial components. Sources say the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is facing some sort of supply chain issues which are getting sorted out currently. The details remain sketchy. The latest meeting shows the Defence Ministry and the HAL are both serious about speeding up production. However, this is not the first time that Hindustan Aeronautics has faltered in meeting targets. In 2018, the Tejas Mark 1A fighter 2 missed its deadline to become fully combat ready. But let's try and understand the renewed urgency to add advanced fighters to boost India's depleted squadron strength. On one hand, bankrupt Pakistan is acquiring fifth generation FC 31 or J 31 jets from China. Meanwhile, armed with fifth generation J 20, Xi Jinping has ordered the PLA to be, quote, ready for real combat. It becomes imperative for the Indian Air Force to retain a numerical and technological parity with both its nuclear neighbours. India currently has 31 squadrons consisting of 16 to 18 fighter jets each. However, the mandated operational need is for 42 squadrons to be prepared for any eventuality, especially a two-front war. Over the next year, the squadrons of Soviet-era MiG-21 fighter jets would have been grounded. The number will further decline as Jaguars, MiG-29s and Mirage 2000 fighter jets all inducted in phases during the 1980s, are slated to retire in batches beyond 2029-30. 250 of these types of jets are presently operating on an extended life cycle. As for the plan for the next 14-15 years, India needs to indigenously produce nearly 390 fighter jets for the IAF. But that itself won't be enough. New Delhi is aiming to finalize the 114 MRFA program with Rafale, Eurofighter, Gripen and F-21 are in the race. The need of the R is for India to invest in futuristic fifth-generation platforms. The Ministry of Defence has been actively working to strengthen the combat fleet to its authorised level of 42 squadrons. To meet IF's growing demand and counter the current delays, the HAL unveiled a new production line in Nasik in April 2023. This after Defence Ministry issued a tender to HAL for an additional 97 Tejas Mark 1A fighter jets. The new order is worth 67,000 crore rupees. This expansion will allow the firm to manufacture 16 LCA MK1A fighter aircraft per year in Bengaluru. The Nasik line is expected to further help in increasing the production capacity to 24 jets annually. The initial order of 83 Tejas Mark 1A fighters is expected to be completed by 2028. The Tejas Mark 1A being indigenously developed is significantly forward technologically boosting India's defence capabilities, it is expected to meet the operational requirements of the Indian Air Force. The 4-plus generation Tejas fighter aircraft boasts more than 65% indigenous components, highlighting India's growing technological prowess in the aerospace sector. It has an active electronically scanned array or ASA radar, beyond visual range BVR missiles, modern electronic warfare suite and air-to-air -air refueling capabilities. Meanwhile, the Tejas Mark II is being developed as a more advanced version of Tejas MK1A with production set to begin towards the end of this decade. The Tejas Mark II will eventually replace and be an upgrade on MiG-29s and the Mirage 2000s. But what will really set the Indian Air Force apart from other nations? The indigenous fifth-generation fighter jet, the Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft or ANCA. This particular aircraft will put India among a select group of countries consisting 
of the United States, China and Russia who currently build their own fifth generation fighters. The capabilities of Turkey's Khan are yet to be proven. Stealth features such as an internal weapons bay, low electromagnetic signature, a special skin to beat enemy radar and a bigger internal fuel tank will make fifth generation AMCA the jewel of the IAF. The Indian Air Force requires seven squadrons of the AMCA which got the Cabinet Committee on Security approval in March of this year. The full development of the AMCA aircraft is expected to take around 10 years from now when HAL will once again be called on to meet the huge IAF order. Have your say. What steps can the HAL take to boost production and meet fighter jet delivery timelines? Leave a comment below, hit the like button and remember to subscribe to InConnect News.